happy Sunday! So today is part three of the new series, Straight Out of Bondage. It's all about breaking free. And today I'm going to talk about anxiety. Again, this is another huge one for me that I have suffered with my whole life. So we all know that it's normal to feel nervous um, in different situations. If you're around new people, going to a new place. But what happens when it becomes so much that it keeps you from being able to live your life and it keeps you at home? You get too scared, too nervous, too anxious um, to go outside sometimes. It's like you want to go outside, but there's something on the inside of you that's saying, no, it's too scary, don't go. Well, that's me. <laughs> so today I want to share um, what I've been through, um, just a, a situation that I just feel like was a huge testimony for me of how um, I overcame anxiety. So I've always had a hard time doing things alone and being alone. In my life, I had always been around people, in a relationship, um, and a couple years ago, I found myself all by myself. and. I didn't know what to do. I had never truly been alone. I had always suffered from codependency, which we'll talk about in other videos. Um, so the thought of doing things alone and going places alone was so scary. But I knew that it was part of my healing that I needed to do. So I made a pact with myself that I would start doing things that I had always been afraid of or things that scared me and I would do them all by myself. And I made a list. I made a bucket list of all the things that I wanted to tackle all by myself. And I have just started chipping away at those things and some of them can just be super easy little things, but to me they were big because I've just, I had never done them alone and I'd always been afraid to do them alone. For instance, I had never gone to a restaurant and ate alone. I was always so afraid of people staring at me and they would be thinking, oh, she's by herself. Look at her, that poor thing. And I just, that was, I put it on my list. And a couple years ago, I did that and I was nervous doing it. I did it afraid. But it felt so good sitting there and I just refocused my mind instead of worrying about what other people were thinking or feeling anxious and I just kept telling myself, girl, you got this, you are doing this. And I would just have to take some deep breaths because you know, you just feel it just rising up. And when it was all said and done and I'm walking out, I literally was like, you did it! I'm so proud of you! As if it was like my best friend standing there with me saying, girl, I can't believe you did it! But I did that for myself. Checked it right off of the list. There's another situation, a little bit funnier. I had never been to the movies by myself. The thought of sitting there by myself paralyzed me. I did it. I drove to the movie theater the whole way there. My anxiety is going crazy. I mean, I got the nervous sweats, but you know, it's only the left armpit that sweats for some reason. I get up there and I'm like, oh my gosh, I have to go buy a ticket by myself. Girl, you got this. You can do this. Kept talking to myself on the inside, got my ticket. I went and sat down. I found that it, it, our theater um, that I went to has reclining seats and it was a smaller theater. So of course, uh, I picked the one way in the back, very last row, and the seat all the way to the wall because, you know, I get nervous and anxious about new people like sitting next to me and me having to talk to them. Even though I'm such a personable person and I love people, I'm kind of an introvert sometimes too. So, picked my seat, sat down, I'm sitting there, I'm texting my daughter saying, I'm doing it, I'm doing it, and she's reassuring me that I've got it. Well, then all of a sudden, out of the right side of my eye, I see this man across the aisle jump up out of his seat and there's a huge water bug on his armrest. Well, I was getting calm before that happened. I don't do bugs, okay? And definitely not those big old water bugs. 
And now I'm like, oh my gosh, they're probably all over my seat too. And then I start itching. I'm like, maybe there's one and it's biting me. <laughs> so then your mind just goes into overdrive. So now I'm really feeling anxious. Like, you know, maybe I just want to go ahead and just leave. Maybe I'll just try it another time. But something inside of me said, no, you will not give up. It's okay. So I calm myself down. And then a couple comes in and there's plenty other seats for them to pick, but they chose to sit right by me. So now I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm feeling so weird now. And I end up just, just biting the bullet. And I'm like, hi, how are you? And they were so sweet. And I was like, actually, I'm here by myself. Like I wanted to overcome going to the movies by myself. And I just allowed myself to be vulnerable in that moment and open up to them. They were so receptive and supportive. They just kept saying, oh my gosh, look at you, you're doing this. That's amazing that you're doing this for yourself. And it actually made me feel really good and it just comforted me and it relaxed my nerves. And now I was able to enjoy the movie. And then when it was all done and I'm walking to the car again, I was like, girl, you did this, you did it. You should be so proud of yourself. So those are two real life situations um, where I've overcome my anxiety. Hiking is another one. I'm working on, on, you know, beating that anxiety in those situations. So I'm just constantly putting myself in situations where I know my anxiety is going to be there, but I'm going to overcome it. And it doesn't just go away. It is always there, but I try my best um, to just just diminish it. And the more that you do things that you know are going to make you anxious and you overcome them, the more confidence that you build. And so the next time you're like, well, I got through that other situation. I can totally do this. Now I want to also say a disclosure. I am not a qualified professional at all to speak on this topic. So I'm just simply sharing my experience with you um, in hopes that maybe you'll be able to relate to it. Maybe it will help you. Um, there's different types of anxiety. Um, mine is just generalized anxiety, so that's what my experiences focus on. And so I told you all those things um, to say, if you suffer with anxiety too, um, I wanna leave you with five things that have helped me and maybe they'll help you too. First thing is make that list, make that bucket list of things that you've always wanted to do, but your anxiety kept you from doing them. And just start crossing them off one by one. Doesn't matter how long it takes you. It doesn't matter if you try it one time and you don't get through it. Go back and try it again another time. Don't give up. You can beat it. Number two, meditate. There's something about being in quietness and peacefulness where you connect your mind and body that just just helps you just relax that anxiety, relax those thoughts um, in your mind. And it really does help, even if it's just a few minutes a day, if it's in the morning, if it's in the afternoon, um, whatever it is, just try to make sure you take that time for yourself to just help your mind. Number three, um, practice deep breathing. Now, you can look up tons of different exercises online about deep breathing. I won't drag the video out <laughs> with all of those things, so you have some homework. Um, but that's something that can help too, especially in the middle of a situation. If you can figure out some, some type of breathing that helps you, um, I know it helps me when I'm feeling anxious. I just start taking some deep breaths and just thinking positive thoughts, and it just it really helps me. That brings me to the next one, is replacing your negative thoughts with positive thoughts. Um, you know, it, it's so easy to, for our mind to run with that uncertainty when we're thinking something negative. So if you can figure out how to replace the negative things that you're feeling in that moment when you're trying to overcome this situation and just replace it with something positive, then it will help you keep going. It'll help you get through that. And the last thing, number five, is laugh. Who knew? Research shows that laughing actually helps anxiety. So if you found my situations or this video at all funny, you're welcome. I just helped reduce your cortisol levels, that stress hormone. Um, 
I laughter is a huge part of my life. I always love to make people laugh. I love laughing. I always feel better after that deep laugh where like you're wheezing and like you're like, I think I need an inhaler. It always feels so good. So laugh a little bit more and live your life. Don't let anxiety hold you back from being all that you can be and doing all that you want to do. So today I want to leave you with one final thing and it's a question. What would your anxiety free life look like? What would you be doing in your life if anxiety and that voice inside of you that reminds you of all your insecurities and why you shouldn't be trying to overcome this and all those negative things in your mind. If that voice wasn't there trying to hold you back, what would you be doing in your life? So go out and live your life. Don't let anxiety hold you back anymore and have fun. I'll see you guys next Sunday. Have a great day. Bye.